All right, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I have the privilege today of having Sarah Outlaw join us to give us a comprehensive training that I think will be invaluable for many of you. We have the privilege to hear from her today. Sarah, you're a tremendous example to patients, clients, not only in your two locations, in New Jersey, Des Moines, uh, but also just the vast community of natural healthcare professionals around the country and, and globally. Now, I mean, you just recently went to Australia and did, and did training down there. So I, I guess it's officially global now, your, your level of influence. You're, you have experience with clinical herbology mm -hmm. or you're a clinical herbalist, yes. um, functional clinical nutritionist. And your level of expertise in, in NRT or energy response testing, you know, you're a trainer or educator for standard process and MediHerb. Mm -hmm. You currently operate or you own, manage uh, two different clinics. So there's uh, one in New Jersey as well as one in, in uh, Des Moines. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Thanks, Mike, for having me. Appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> With the diversity of focuses that you have, areas like I've, I've heard you talk about moms I've yeah. seen you work with essential oils animals I've seen you work videos of you working on horses uh, yeah you know leaky gut I've heard you talk about leaky guts and and brain and and uh, I mean the list goes on and on so I know you have not only a vast amount of experience in energy response testing and you know, kinesiology but also in functional um, right medicine, you know, and so our functional nutrition. And so with that being said, how, how has systemic formulas been useful for you with all of that? So being a well-rounded practitioner is important, taking a really holistic approach to everything we do and using the products that test best on the patient. So we pull from different product lines, including systemic formulas to make sure that we give our patients the exact right thing that they need at the exact right time. So we will go to systemic formulas when, especially when someone is, uh, I guess, a little bit too sick, quote unquote, sick to handle whole food only. Sometimes they need the combination of the herbs and the food together to really get the best results. We don't eat real food anymore as a society. We just don't, as I'm sure that you are aware. Our grocery stores are filled with food-like substances. So when people are coming in, they're a lot sicker than they were. For example, when Freddie Yulin started his practice years and years ago, 50 years ago, people are a lot sicker now. So we are having a lot more difficult time getting people where they should be nutritionally using only whole food products. So we have to expand. Right. And so me personally, I'm trained as an herbalist, so I can go into MediHerb and I can custom blend liquids. I can mix and match and know what I'm doing. But unfortunately, not everyone is educated in herbs that way. So what happens is, is that people kind of go deer in the headlights when we start talking about using maybe MediHerb you know, for a new beginning practitioner, because it's a little more complicated. You have to look up all the contraindications. You have to know how to blend different things. The liquid blending is a whole nother, you know, educational piece. With systemic formulas, what I absolutely love about it is that you can take a product, you know what you're going to be using. For example, I see the, uh, the you know, things up there. It says, you know, S spleen. Okay, here's a combination for spleen. K kidney. Here's a combination for kidney. We muscle test those. It is very simple for the practitioner to be able to pick and choose through these lists of products and find the exact right thing. So do you ever combine systemic formulas along with other brands like Standard Process? Uh, oh, yeah, for, for sure. For sure, yeah. So we use a combination. So we just test around and we see exactly. So for example, in the nutrition response testing that I do, we look for priority organ. So say we have adrenals and we go through and we find bacteria, we might test a product first from standard process to see if it tests okay, like Chondroplex. And then if it doesn't, we'll go to systemic formulas, we'll pull back tracks and that'll test. Okay, great, so we'll use back tracks. And then we go and test for the adrenals and we, try to stay within the same product line. So we might pull GA adrenal up. Oh, that didn't test this time. Maybe it's too strong for this person. So we go back and we pull maybe adrenal desiccated or adrenaline from standard process. Oh, that worked. Okay, good. So now we have a Bactrex and maybe ACX from systemic formulas and adrenaline or adrenal desiccated from standard process. So it really is, just, it, and it literally takes me 30 seconds to figure this out because of the muscle testing. But 
we just go ahead and put together whatever combination works the best. And it could be anything. It could be straight systemic, and it might not be. It might be a mix and match. Although you've used a plethora of systemic formulas mm -hmm. for the last four or five years since you've been on board, for now, I, I, you know, I wanted to touch on maybe some of those that you've had some recent success with or long-term success with and uh, kind of what you found um, with these particular products. Sure, yeah, I'll start at the top there. One of my favorite products that I personally use all the time is Bind. Uh, I have a lot of personal health history with metals and chemicals and chemical sensitivities and food sensitivities. So I always keep Bind, I keep it in my suitcase, I keep it in my bag, I keep it I keep uh, in when it's cooler weather, I keep some in my car. That way I'm never without it because if I'm eating out, you try to make your the healthiest choices, but you never know uh, what oils you're gonna be getting, what toxins are in your food, the water. So I will take two before of those before I go to bed specifically. And I also test my patients who've been exposed to mold or have heavy metal toxicity. And this has worked wonders in kicking out those toxins that have been keeping people sick because of the ingredients in there. So you've got the activated charcoal, you've got the combination of the magnesium, and then the fiber and the things that keep you from getting constipated, which is great. And then you've got the dandelion and all the other herbs that you can use for the liver. So it's a wonderful combination that we absolutely love. And almost all of my patients have a bottle of it in their homes, in their personal medicine cabinet for that just in case use. I think that there's there's so much more in addition to, you know, the particular heavy metals that this could actually help to bind to and prevent recirculation or reabsorption of those toxins. Mold toxins, like you said, mold toxicity, which is so common, and bacteria, viral, you know, diversity of uses for bind. So I like that you use it for kind of an as-needed basis as well. Um, right. Yeah, we do. We really like it. And especially those times when you have those people who really have those, you know, deep set metal toxicities that just don't seem to be getting kicked out we just reach for the bind and say listen we're gonna we're gonna have you do this it's gonna be really helpful we see we'll see how you do and they just they do really well and people don't like to be without it because you just feel so much better another thing we use it for and i know this is not a traditional use but my patients who drink alcohol uh, you know if they go out for cocktails with you know their girlfriend or whatever they take two before they go to bed and it actually helps them to not feel sick in the morning when they take it. So it, it can, it binds for us. We feel that it binds with all the toxins, no matter what they are. And they just feel so much better and healthier for taking it. Yeah. Yeah. Great point. Uh, do you ever recommend this at other times of the day? Like for example, if there's others who have to take supplements, uh, whether it's melatonin or other herbal supplements or medications in the evening and they don't want binds activated charcoal to interfere with that. Do you ever suggest bind at other times of the day? As long as it is but just between meals, we try to have it obviously, we don't want a binding to medications that they're taking or binding to other nutritional supplements. So we just have them take it a couple hours away from anything else. So if they wanna take it sometime between breakfast and lunch, great. First thing when they wake up, if they're not taking a thyroid medication, then yes, we do recommend just away from food and other supplements. Do you incorporate bind in with um, parasite protocols, for example? Or do you we have do. other? Yes, yeah. So this is kind of like that that floater product that we use when we're, we, we're moving through a program and we see we need an extra drainage issue. So people are having a lot of issues with say gas, for example, because they have been they're going through a parasite cleanse. This is really helpful. It helps reduce that gas. It helps to you know, really kind of clean out those bowels, especially with parasitic issues. Uh, we see parasites in probably 95 to 99% of our patients. And this is a product that we will use to assist with that. I mean, we have some other powerful remedies for parasites and and for heavy metals, et cetera. And so when you have bind in there to help make sure that it gets transported effectively to the bowels, it, it really helps. So um, I know that uh, you know, you've had some success with other products as well. Moore's, for example, is mm -hmm. a very sophisticated formula. You, know, you have methylcobalamin and methyl tetrahydrofolate, and uh, Dr. Shane Morris formulated this in such a way that it really helps open methylation pathways, and that's especially important for a lot of people. I think that one out of three, you have the genetic mutation, MTHFR, 
where they're not able to readily assimilate your common B vitamins like B12 and B9. Right. Um, so that's especially important. When do you find mores to be useful? Well, the beauty of muscle testing for us, especially, and why I love it is because is that we can, even if someone doesn't have genetic testing results to give me, I can test them with a muscle test for mores and get an idea if they're having trouble absorbing bees because mores will test or it won't. So it's always the people who are having trouble with, you know, bee anemia or they don't seem to have a lot of energy, but they take a lot of B vitamins and they're just not working, that type of thing. I will go ahead and test that. And then also the people who do have the genetic testing, we have the MTHFR, we have all the SNPs, people who are, are having trouble detoxing, I'll check it on because we need detox pathways to be open. We need the body to be able to methylate. And if it's not, then Moore's is my go-to. And we love it for little kids who are born with MTHFR, which there's are, there are some signs for that, obviously tongue tie, lip tie, little stork bites. There's little signs on the body that you know parents will point out to me, and then they may or may not get the genetic testing. But we'll just go ahead and test. We'll use the liquid for the little ones. If the mom is breastfeeding, we'll go ahead and give it to her and, and you know whatever comes through the breast milk, great. And it's just been a huge success. We have seen so many people just really turn around with their health by being on Moors and uh, just an amazing product. We love it. You're able to identify quite often with little kids these days with, with uh, the signs and symptoms for that so that they're yes. showing those signs that they, they clearly have something going on where, where the Moors liquid is, is, uh, is helpful. Right. And we have a little girl specifically. She was four years old when she started coming and she already had been diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis at four. And we tested her and she had, you know, she was born with a lip tie and tongue tie and her and her uh, dad has MTHFR. So they suspected. So we tested her for more and what a difference it made in her protocol, just being able to absorb those B vitamins and get that methylation pathway opened. It's amazing. How long did she persist in using the liquids and, and, you know, what were some of the results that she saw with her Hashimoto's? She still takes, uh, she still takes it each day. She takes a small amount each day and she had a really hard time with her body's ability to handle stress and her adrenals would kept going up and down. She had very little energy for being that young. You think, you know, you think of a four-year-old as being a bundle of energy and she just wasn't. She was kind of like, just like blah. And it just really helped pick her up. You know, her body just wasn't absorbing the bees and she was you know, eating okay, but kind of picky. So it's just really helped to put her in the right direction as far as her body being able to detox, getting the Hashimoto's under control, helping us to be able to heal her thyroid. She still has quite a ways to go, but she's definitely doing much better than she was when she started. I know that uh, GF has been a product that you've used to help remedy the thyroid. What are, what are some of the benefits of the GF thyroid product that you found? GF thyroid is something that we will test whenever the thyroid comes up on a muscle test as the priority. So we'll go through and find out what is going on underneath that. So is there a metal toxicity, which there usually is, a viral, parasitic, bacteria, fungal, what is going on that's causing the thyroid not to function like it should. And they might come in with a diagnosis of Hashimoto's hyperthyroid or hypothyroid. We don't know, you know, they'll come, they might not, but a lot of times what we find is subclinical. So we'll go ahead and test to see if the GF thyroid will test. If it does, we go ahead and put it in. And it just seems to help them adapt to things. So a lot of times the patients will complain of having cold extremities, uh, especially you know not being able to adjust to temperature changes. This is really helpful. It also helps with hormone support. So we have uh, you know any of our men or women who have any any kind of hormone issues, we we test the GF thyroid and also thought hypothyroid with fatigue. GF thyroid is one of my favorite products for getting that fatigue lifted. It really does seem to help. So we use it quite often. It's one of our favorite products for that. And we use it in conjunction with other products to be able to help what's going on. So sometimes we'll put it in with um, the e ENRG. Sometimes we'll put it in with that. Sometimes we combine it with Moore's. Sometimes we'll have to combine it with uh, the uh, B brain and other brain support, just depending on what's going on. Because a lot of thyroid patients come in with a lot of brain fog. So we're trying to address that as well. Okay, so you use ENRG for it to mm -hmm. help with fatigue. So you found this particular formula to help with 
just overall fatigue along with GF, for, for example, in this case, or in general, do you, I mean, do you find uh, ENRG, the quantum cellular ATP energy product to be helpful for fatigue or chronic fatigue or adrenal issues? I do, yeah. We use it along, along with the GF thyroid and a lot of times along with the GA adrenal for people who are really struggling with that fatigue. Their body's not converting, you know, things you are not, you know, not enough ATP. Things are not happening genetically like they're supposed to. We put in the ENRG to help with all of those things. And it seems to really help with the brain function. So we we focus in, a lot of people come, come in, they, come, they have their main complaint, I'm tired, I have no energy, I'm foggy brained, I feel like I'm walking through a fog, all these things we're hearing. And we definitely, check these things. Uh, kudzu extract is one of my f actually favorite. Kudzu is one of my favorite herbs. Um, when I was training as an herbalist, it's one of those things that we learned that you could actually mix as a powder in like oatmeal or buckwheat and make like a gruel out of it and kids like it. So it helps, um, it would help kids actually with their sugar cravings because it helps with glucose and fat metabolism. So we used to give it to the little kids that would crave sugar just in a powder form by itself and wow. it would help to curb the sugar. So I feel like in, in, in some way, even giving my patients the ENRG, it seems to curb their sugar cravings a little bit, not like completely, but it does have an effect. Wow, fascinating. You know, you've often mentioned children and kids with the MTHFR, with fatigue or with sugar cravings and others. What other products do you, have you found successes with when it comes to kids? With kids, well, all of the uh, organ products, so we would use, we would, you know, always check with adrenal. Uh, kids are being born and coming into my office right out of the hospital with weak adrenals, wow. genitally weak wow. adrenals, traumatic birth. So that's another thing that I love about muscle testing is I can check these things. Mom brings baby in, check the body, heart comes up uh, as weak. The adrenals come up as weak, usually gut as weak, especially if there was a C-section instead of a vaginal birth. I'm checking all of these things, and sometimes we're with you know breastfeeding babies. We're giving these things to the mom, so we'll put the mom on GA adrenal. You know, if they're if they're formula fed, we'll do the drops. And just depends, but uh, we just really need to get their bodies where they need to be. And it's not a high dose. You know, systemic formulas products are strong, so we don't have to use a whole lot. We might use with that's why I like the drops. We can use like one drop, you know, and that's enough to get them where they need to be as a baby. Um, and then getting mom back in line, you know, getting her health back. We have seen, you know, with, we deal with a lot of moms and babies, as you mentioned. So moms will come to us because word has gotten out that we could help with postpartum depression. So we'll have moms with coming in after their second or third babies, just exhausted. And their adrenals are shot too. So we have, you know, mom has a baby, then has another baby a year later. Her adrenals are already shot. Babies are shot and probably older babies shot too. So we take care of all of them as a family and we're putting them all on things like GA adrenal, uh, helping them with things like B brain, helping mom get her hormones back with F plus, those types of products. And just the amazing results that we have had. I mean, we have had some really extreme cases, Mike, of mothers who have expressed to us that they have had such severe postpartum depression that they wished harm upon themselves and their children. And that's how extreme it can get. And they don't understand it because they don't have a history of depression. They don't have a history of anxiety, but all of a sudden, three months in after having a baby, they're having all of these feelings and they don't know where to go because what, what happens when they go to their doctor? They get put on an antidepressant and they're told that they need to, you know, get counseling and they're not really helped. We're able to help them. We get their hormones back in balance. We get their nutrition back. We get their children's nutrition back. And then, and then it's, it's an absolutely amazing, beautiful thing. It's amazing to me that not only are these adults that are moms or middle-aged or, you know, dealing with these types of symptoms with depression that you're able to like, tremendously aid with, but also their kids and like right out of the womb. It's amazing. You mentioned how adrenals are shot for these little ones. Yeah. You know, you're able to really help with the family across the board, regardless of age. You had mentioned some of the products here, be brain. There's glandulars in there. There's uh, what we call RNA, DNA tissue factors. 
which help to boost the tissue integrity and the function of that. This product, B Brain, has those that actually help nourish the brain and its functions. Mm-hmm. Along with, we combine that with some micronutrients and we also combine it with herbs. So the combination uh, makes it very therapeutic and advantageous. So, yeah, and taking uh, a look at that B Brain, if you look where it says the indications, I mean, you can see how this product across the board for adults and children and you know, students, kids in school, look how amazing that is for them. I mean, alertness, you're thinking, okay, we're thinking about our ADD, ADH kids, we're thinking about you know, moms and dads and just adults in general having trouble focusing, people complaining about forgetfulness, or thinking about just inability to focus at all, uh, not being able to focus when they're driving, uh, the brain fog, brain fog, all those types of things, or not feeling motivated. You'll have, sometimes I'll have a patient come in and they'll say, oh, I just don't feel motivated. I just feel I don't want to do anything. And they've lost their creativity and their drive. It's usually some type of B, B vitamin deficiency along with the mineral deficiency and essential fatty acids. So if we can get these things in combination to going together, we can change things around. I have, I have a guy, he had no motivation to do anything. We put him on a program and included B brain, some essential fatty acids and some minerals. And he got an amazing job. He aced an interview, got a job, is doing great, has a girlfriend now. It's just like, we took this couch potato and completely turned his life around because he was just vitamin deficient and nutritionally void in what he needed to live his life. So we have so many miracles in our practice that we could sit here all day and talk about them. <laughs> so when, with depression, you, you you talked a lot about brain fog, brain function, in the case of postpartum depression. What about neurosin? Let's see if I can find it here. Okay. Yeah, I know you've had some recent, or maybe not only recent, but you've had some long-term success with the product Neurosyn. Maybe just uh, share a little bit more about what your experience has been with Neurosyn. Sure, we've been using this a lot. We have a couple, I'll have, I have a couple of cases that I'll share with you, but Bacopa and Ginkgo are wonderful herbs. They're traditionally used for memory and cognition. They've been using it like that for years. And we have seen really good results with people with things just as mild as forgetfulness or as severe as traumatic brain injury. So I have a young lady that had a traumatic brain injury when she was 13, was in a car accident and is now in her 30s. And she and her mom both said that they noticed significant differences in her cognitive function when she started the Norisin. We've tried other products along the way. She's been with me for a few years, but it wasn't until, wasn't until we started using the Norisin that she noticed the difference in retaining information and, and less, having less forgetfulness and just feeling like she had more quote unquote brain power overall, you know, kind of being in a fog for all these years. And it's just been amazing. And I think it has a lot to do with the combination of ingredients because they're so synergistic with each other. And that's the key too, is having, it's okay. Okay, so you have Bacopa, you can use that alone, but if you have it in a complex like this with Ginkgo, with the Magnolia, with the other uh, herbs and the amino acids and all of that, you are going to get a better product and it's gonna focus more into that brain and help a, a broader spectrum of things going on. In the way of parasites, I know you've you've used what we call our VRM formulas, and they're all kind of categorized or they're formulated to to target different sizes or different types of parasites. So I know you've had some success with those in, in particular as well. We have, and we use so we test for uh, categories parasite one, two, three, and four. And when we're testing with the VRMs, they line up with what we find. So if we if we find VRM uh, or parasite one, then we give VRM one, two, we give VRM two and so on and so forth. So we're able to give these in conjunction with the testing that we do to really clear out the uh, parasites out of the system. And we do them cyclically. So the VRM one and VRM two, we would do traditionally with herbal medicine, you do a cyclical uh, treatment. So we would do VRM and VRM, VRM one and two, 10 days on, five days off, and then repeat for four to six cycles. If it is the other parasites needing VRM three and four, we would just do that straight through until it tests is not needing it anymore. So we would do it probably uh, four to eight weeks, depending on how long it takes for a the parasites to go away. 
We do notice that parasites tend to resurface if not taken care of completely, especially the larger ones, so the BRM1 and 2 will be the ones that be the egg layers. So egg laying parasites, you have to make sure if you put someone on a cycle that you don't allow them to stop in the middle because then those eggs will hatch and then nothing is being handled. So we're very, very clear with our patients when we do any type of parasite cleansing on how that's going to work and that they have to follow our protocols exactly in order to get the best results. And so because you're very um, crystal clear on parasite cleansing with everyone, I think it's I think the question often comes up, well, how long is this going to take my patient? Is it three cycles of 10 days on, five days off? Is it usually more or, you know, or less? What, what's your experience on that? I always say a good rule of thumb is going to be four to six. It just depends okay. on, the, on the patient. Um, but four to six is what we usually will tell them to expect. That way, sometimes it's three. And sometimes it's two, but if we, we try to give them more worst case scenario and say, okay, this could take three to six cycles and it, it most likely won't take the full six, but in case it does, they're not thinking that there's something wrong with them because they're not healing faster. What are some of the main symptoms or, or relief that or results that patients have when they've eliminated parasites that you found? The parasites, if someone has them, usually cause sudden onset digestive issues, either constipation or diarrhea or stomach gurgling or stomach pain. Skin irritation is something that we see majorly, so uh, things that look like boils on the skin, itchy skin, uh, weird patterns on the skin of redness, rashes, raised bumps on the cheeks, raised bumps on the arms. Uh, peeling of the feet on the soles of the feet or the toes on the bottoms, we'll see that as well. Uh, bedwetting is another for children. Bedwetting is usually a sign of parasites. So when we put them on, on the parasite cleanse, usually within three days, those symptoms start to alleviate at least somewhat to the point where they, they notice. So I usually say within three days, you you'll usually see some type of a relief. Uh, it's wonderful for kids who have bedwetting issues because then um, those will alleviate. It takes a couple of weeks for that. But then the skin is what people notice the most is when they have acne. So for me, uh, I had cystic acne all over my neck when I, before I started my program. And one of the things that fixed me was the VRM uh, one through four. I had to be on all of them for, I think like probably I was six cycles and that actually cleared that up. So for years I had no idea that my, my skin issues were parasitic and because they were the, the, the cystic acne and um, taking care of that was made possible by the VRMs. Another thing we will tell people is a lot of times uh, cysts in the body, those fatty cysts or soft cysts inside the body are, they seem to be parasitic and parasites that have walled themselves off. And when we put them on a cycle or three or four of VRM one through four, those cysts dissolve and they go away. We've seen that time and time again, which was just actually proven by I don't know if you saw the news, I guess a few weeks ago, there was a lady who had gotten, she was told she had a brain tumor. And when they went in, they took out this so-called tumor and there was a tapeworm in there. It was actually a tapeworm that had walled itself up in her head. <laughs> Did you see that on the news? No, no, amazing. It was, it, was, it was crazy. And I posted it on my page. So I'm like, this actually validates what we've been saying that this can happen there. She had no brain tumor. There was no tumor in there. This, this, this tapeworm had, was in this like fluid sac in her brain, a cyst, and it was diagnosed as a tumor and wasn't. So this is what's happening. We are seeing these, these parasites just go all these places in the body. And thankfully we have a great product like, like the VRMs to be able to eliminate those. More validation of the fact that these parasites are real. And this, oh, is a, sure. this is the real deal. And you know what I like about the VRMs is you can really help remove this source, this cause. I, I guess from your experience, do you find that parasites are a good thing to target with first? Like if it's a case of SIBO or leaky gut or irritable bowel, um, do you still go for parasites? Do you find that it's it, it's a parasite issue as well? Or uh, is it, yeah. um, do you target yeah. that? 
Yeah, so with the gut, anything you don't want to rebuild the gut with the stressors still in. So I always think of it this way, and I teach my patients this. A stressor, which in our world is a bacteria, fungus, virus, or parasite, is like someone hitting you on the head with a hammer 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is like your house being on fire. And if you go ahead and try to put your furniture back into your house when it's still on fire, it's not going to work. So if you're gonna to try to give yourself probiotics and rebuild your gut and you still have parasites and bacteria, funguses in there, it's just not going to work. So you have to clean it out first. You have to kill everything off first and then you rebuild. So we don't do, we don't do it simultaneously. We believe in uh, you know, kind of like the four R's of, of gut health, which we remove, we, uh, what is it? Remove, repair, restore, re-inoculate. That's my four R's. And we, have, we don't do the probiotics or the gut health protocol until after we have taken care of all of those parasite issues and that bacteria. We see a lot of SIBO issues, uh, H. pylori, uh, even things as extreme as C. diff going on with people, all sorts of parasitic issues. They have to be handled first and foremost, kill everything off and then go ahead and rebuild and your patients will have a much better outlook on even natural health because they feel so much better. You know, the VRMs are an excellent route to be able to help remove um, before you do the other R's, right? So, right, um, right, yeah. And then you're going ahead and you're looking at your backtracks, you're looking at your fung DX, you're looking at those types of things to kind of get things out. Sometimes there's viral issues, you're looking at Vivi, you're looking at uh, stabilizer, other things. You're just, you're kind of taking a look at all the things that you have access to. I love the test kits that you guys have for muscle testers because we can just go through and see everything out there and say, okay, what do we need to test for? And the names of your products are helpful because it's easy when, with someone like me starting out or my, my team, because my team uh, that I have right now just started at Ulan Nutritional Systems doing their advanced clinical training. And at ACT1, they're, uh, they're, they have systemic formulas basically thrown at them. <laughs> so they learned systemic formulas last week at, at um, ACTs and they came back with all of the, you know, their eyes all bright and so excited with all their lists of things that they want to order from systemic because they learned it all. And it's easy for them because it's all, the bottles are easily named. So that's one thing I can compliment everyone there on uh, is that making it easy for my staff and pulling things and also just having incredible formulas that they can all use as kind of beginner nutritionists because they're confident that they can use them with their patients with no side effects and no issues. It's just, it's a wonderful product line. We really love it. So from your experience, this is a line that beginner nutritionists or beginner practitioners can learn easily and readily. They can yes. easily be trained on this and you've seen that firsthand. Yes. Yeah, so my my New Jersey clinic, we've been using systemic formulas the, since I learned it at advanced clinical training. So as soon as I finished my that portion, we brought it in. The Iowa clinic, they're just now learning it, so we're just now implementing that. That uh, practice has only been open for a year, so they're just we're just now implementing it there because my associate practitioners were not trained on it yet. So now now it's starting to be there so we have been using things there like c colon we've been using bind a lot there we've been using skin colonizer constantly which we can probably talk about that a little bit because it's one of my favorites and the aloe as well so they are using some but now they have the training to be able to use even more which is phenomenal when we designed or when dr shane morris put together the skin colonizer this was quite a feat i mean it took him years and years of yeah of researching and putting together these proper amounts or ratios of the lactobacillus strains that are most predominant in your skin flora and keeping those alive in a in an oil not only you know grapeseed oil perilla oil as you see over there on the right hand side or down on the bottom left you know barrage hemp all these mm -hmm. therapeutic oils with their many benefits not only um, have a product with the oils but also with the bacteria strains that would stay alive, you know, for a sustained right. period of time. And I think that that's why we continue to see a lot of the results we do with different skin issues, whether it's psoriasis or eczema or others, because of the bacteria strains in addition to the oils. What is your, what has been your experience with skin colonizer now that you've uh, brought that up? 
Yeah, so we love it and we love especially that it is so allergen friendly because a lot of our patients who need it are the ones with the most severe allergy and sensitivity issues. So it doesn't have any dairy, it's vegan, no gluten, um, no sugar, and eggs especially because a lot of our eczema patients especially can't have eggs. So it's really important. Just looking at the ingredients make you feel good, don't it? Doesn't it? Because you've got the those therapeutic oils that you mentioned. Those oils, as someone I used to, uh, with Nio 2 and Organics, I used to make a lot of my own products and I used to use a lot of those therapeutic oils in my homemade uh, like body whips and lotions. And they're just amazing. They're amazing to work with. They feel great on your skin and they're just completely therapeutic versus using like a vegetable oil, like a canola or something like that. So I love that they, they've used these oils in them. We've specifically used this product for everything skin related from psoriasis to eczema to rashes on the skin. Uh, I had something happen a couple of years ago when I was down uh, for training. I was doing an extra training at UNS and uh, I don't know what happened, but my, my foot swelled up. I don't know if I got a bug bite or I got a scratch, but it almost looked like a little bit of cellulitis on my leg on my foot. I put the skin colonizer on it because I, I brought it with me on my trip. And within a couple of hours, that was completely gone and it never came back. So whatever it was, it was this itchy, rashy, cellulitis looking thing on my foot. It completely fixed it within a couple of hours. We had a gentleman come in covered from his neck all the way to his toes in oozing eczema to the point where he would have to wrap himself in gauze. He looked like he had leprosy. He would come in completely wrapped up. Uh, because it would ooze onto his clothing. And he's a businessman. He, he couldn't have that happening. Uh, we did a lot of gut health things as well. and But the key to the surface of the skin healing itself, because it was so messed up, was the skin colonizer. And he doesn't want to be without it. He had one little patch on his shin especially that was stubborn. It would not go away. And he used the skin colonizer uh, two or three times a day for about a week, and it completely cleared up. It was absolutely incredible. He uses it for his daughter. Her, his daughter has eczema. She now comes to see me. It's gentle. It smells great. I love one of my favorite scents is the vanilla, and it has that vanilla scent. Um, so it's easy for patients to use because it smells good and um, it's very effective. We also use it along with what we call cold laser therapy. We have a laser. So what I'll do in the office, especially for my psoriasis patients, I have patients that have psoriasis on their knees and ankles. It's real nasty and ugly and angry. And I'll put the skin colonizer on and then I will take the laser and laser it in. And that has been really beneficial in healing their skin. And these people have had these skin issues for years and they're finally seeing relief. And it's, it's like magic. What's going on here is you have a lot of recolonization on the skin that's occurring with these cases mm -hmm. that right. you've mentioned with your patients. But there's also, with these bacteria strains, there's also properties where they do a good job at making it inhospitable for pathogens to thrive on the skin. It's kind of the best of both. You know, it's making it hard for pathogens to thrive. And then it's also recolonizing good flora for the skin and makes a makes a big difference. And I know you also use SC cleanser to go along with, or, to, or aside from skin colonizer, it's another topical formula that we have. SC cleanser, if you want to just mention briefly when that comes into play. Yeah, we love this one, especially with people who have any type of itchy skin allergies. That's what I use it for the most is I have them dilute it. Uh, for acne issues, I have them dilute it and uh, in a mister, like a spray bottle, and spray it on their skin, especially before they go to bed for dust mite type of issues. I have women uh, handle, uh, they're having fungal issues vaginally or any type of bacterial issues vaginally. It helps with that as well. It's our go-to. It doesn't, it doesn't stink, which is nice. A lot of, you know, a lot of products you use, they just have a bad smell and this really doesn't. Uh, poison ivy, we use it a lot for that, especially this time of year. We have tons of poison ivy, poison oak issues, um, both states, because in Iowa, is, you know, lots of farms, lots of issues with poison ivy. And then the things like like the diaper rashes because we don't want them using those chemical diaper creams. So this is amazing for that. And then fungal issues on the skin. It's been so wet in our part of the world this time of year. And it is actually this whole year, this whole past seven months have been really wet. And a lot of funguses that we haven't seen before have cropped up. And we have been using SC Cleanser a lot for those. So 
spraying it on the skin. I have patients who paint it on their uh, toenails if they have toe fu toenail fungus uh, straight without diluting it. I, they take a little paintbrush and paint it on, and it's been amazing in helping to get rid of that as well. You know, as much as we've been able to share and, and all the experiences you've been able to share, um, and I'm sure we could go on and on, you know, for uh, hours. Uh, as as, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. With how passionate you are with with what you do, phenomenal information. I think many practitioners of ours, new and older, will benefit from as they question, you know, what different products do or when they should incorporate different ones. And I really appreciate you having me. Thank you for the opportunity, and I hope that everyone listening is more feels more equipped to use systemic in different ways than maybe they thought of before and just keep on learning.